I have returned again. Um, very, very poor timing on my half. Yeah, this is a terrible start. Um, yeah, I'm back and I have more things to look at. And to be fair, I've actually been picking up bits and pieces as I go along looking for things. Um, and I have like a pile of things I'll get to over there and another pile over there and things on the shelf that will now work because of what I've got here. But I went into town today and I saw in a charity shop something I've wanted for years and years and years without even realising. We're going back to the 80s on this one. At least I think it's the 80s. We're going to assume it's the 80s because we'll find out. I genuinely have not looked at this outside of the box, but I knew the moment I saw it, I was going to buy it. Because today we are looking at a Matchbox Super King Porsche Transport thing. Yeah. Yeah. Charity shop. Great things. Um, I haven't even looked at the box of this. I have literally all I've done. I'm bird sitting again, which is why there's a cage there. All I've done is seen it and brought it. Very good price for what it is. It says it's never been opened. I think it has been, but that doesn't matter. I genuinely haven't looked at it. So just look at that. Super Kings um, was a line of things that uh, Matchbox did. They also did Battle Kings, which made tanks, which made an appearance in some very strange videos. I've only just got around to looking. What the hell was going on with that calendar? Um, and Super Kings, which was more the civilian-based thing. So this is a Super King. As I said, somebody in school had this very truck, and I've always kind of wanted it. I wanted it in school, and now I've got it. Ah! I've done really well with charity shops recently. I mean, I got a robot Hoover in a charity shop the other week for 70 quid. Whoop. But enough of that. Let's have a look at this. It's uh, It's got a lorry on the front of it. Is Yeah, that'll be indicating the steering turns left and right. I wonder how that operates. Well, the steering turns left and right on the lorry. And actually, if we look, we can see that the steering wheel turns there. And it's actually branded lorry. It's Iveco. That is um, a brand of lorry that drives around in the UK very commonly. Um, so they actually had branding rights for the lorry as well as the uh, the team. Because Porsche, at least now with video games, from what I've gathered, are very hard to get any kind of licensing from them. They're Super Kings. Uh, very hard to get any kind of licensing, so it must have been different in the 80s. This was about the time Hot Wheels are getting really popular. As I said, I've got some Hot Wheels stuff that I want to look at, which is also things I wanted as a kid. But yeah, it's just the front is seems to be the same image going over and over again. Um, the side... Uh, Super Kings and the lorry. The lighting isn't very good today. I apologise most sincerely. Let's have a look at the back. Caution. Contains small parts. Not suitable for children under 36 months. Ne convent pas un infant de demons de 33 mois. I'm not reading any more of that because that's just awful. See? And it's just the lorry again, but explaining how it goes. So, looking at it, it would appear that we've got a sort of um, inside working compartment that cars can go into. And it looks like it comes with two cars. We'll soon find out if they do actually include vehicles in this, if it is a new thing, because they'll be in there. If they're not, it'll be a waste of time. It, the sides are um, were open. You can open it, but they're very, very dusty. Um, we're looking at two cars come with it, and instructions, so you've got bits and pieces that open, and that's how the steering works. Press the thing, and okay. Uh, that's just that's the same thing there. So the same thing on each edge. And on the bottom, uh, more instructions and a barcode. Um, here we go. Matchbox is the registered trademark of Matchbox International Limited and its subsidiaries. Specification and colour of content subjects to amendment. Not normally what they write now. They say may be different, but no amendment. So that will probably be the licensing saying, hey, yeah, you can't use Porsche anymore. Just tear that off. You can't have Porsche anymore. In fact, actually looking at it, it says Porsche on here, but on the box, it says Matchbox Formula Racing Team. So, there's an interesting branding. Enough of that. Which end is open? Um, enough of that. Let's just do that. Let's open this. Ooh, oh, look at the... Wow. That is somebody's skin. Let's, um, let's open it this way. Oh... Oh, this is childhood nostalgia. I'm keeping the box, obviously, for this, so... Oh. Um, it's a thing. That obviously went in there. Let's, let's not muck around. Out we come. Oh, oh. Okay, this is different uh, than the box. Let's, uh, can we... Yeah, we can disconnect that first. So we've got a trailer, and we've got the lorry. Let's have a look at the lorry first. Uh, you say push on the lights. Oh, Okay. 
It doesn't really control the steering, but that's a nice little thing. So pushing on the lights does the steering as conducted. Um, you Can you see in the back there, if I let you can see the light sort of... Come on. It's, it's not going to focus the light. It really doesn't want to focus. You can... You can see them moving ever so slightly. You can sort of see the mechanism there. That's a much better way to put it. But that's not a killer point. It's very nice. And look, there's the Iveco um, on the bottom. Matchbox. Da, 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 da. I'll turn the autofocus off. There we go. Matchbox. Made in Manchu? Malay? Magua. Made in Magua, that says right there. I have no idea what that means, but uh, hey-ho. Uh, oh, these are two separates. They are separate entities. It really doesn't want to focus today. It's it's so terrible. I should probably have something behind for it to keep consistent focus, but I don't. No, that's a, that's a really nice toy, though. I can understand why I wanted one of these as a kid. Cheap chrome. Chrome plastic, but you know. That's nice. Let's, let's put that aside and have a look at the trailer. Have a look at it first. I've noticed something interesting. It's got holes in the top. I'm just going to do that because it's interesting. So you can see in uh, Porsche on both sides. Obviously, that's a full-on sticker, whereas this is a thing. Let's... Let's... Oh, can... Uh, how do I... How do you... Uh, aha! Okay. Uh, does this have a thing? No. Looking at the underside, it's all oh, the same matchboxy stuff. Oh. That is metal. I wasn't expecting that. The top's plastic, but the base is metal. Uh, it doesn't appear to have extending legs, so it's always going to kind of be like that. Uh, just looking inside, you see we've got this kind of um, nice rack. Actually, that's a very nice little detailed sticker with lots of tools. Don't know what you'd need that kind of screw wrench for there. Hammers are always good when it comes to high-powered technical cars, and you always need a hacksaw. When it comes to cars, because the only way to get drivers out is to cut them out most of the time. Yeah, um, that just looks like a little bit of a driver's room. Okay, that's fair enough. Let's just uh, here and have a look in the back, because this is where it gets interesting. Because there are cars in there, and they're, uh, they're not what's advertised on the box. So, are you ready? We have a pair of Porsche 911s. Both of them 959. And they feel really not very good. Let's put there. They both seem to be the same, so we'll just look at this one. Um, hello. Hello. I said I'm bird sitting. He's been very quiet recently. He's behaving. Mind you, that is statically mint as a toy car. Come on, focus. Come on. There we go. Let's get a nice close up. Yeah, that is a nice. I mean, it's mint. I can see, to be fair, looking at it, why Matchbox um, lost against Hot Wheels, at least in my mind, because this, although this has come with a big set, and this would have been quite expensive back in the day, uh, this car feels really, really bad, actually. I mean, the metal work feels all right, but looking at the underside, just the axles, look at the massive gap. It, if something doesn't feel quite right about this. Oh, it's Porsche 595. I suppose I should have seen that. And we've got a date. Look at that. 1986. This is two years older than me, and it looks a lot better than I do. Bloody hell, So you get two of these. That's nice. Let's put the autofocus back on. Uh, two of these. And what's in the back of the trailer? Something that's not going to focus again. There we go. The focus on this is awful. I really should get a new camera. Ah, that's nice. So it's just a little ramp up and down, so you can kind of... If you can drive it up, you kind of put your car in, um, and then you, hey, oh, little thing for your fingernail as well. Put it up there, and then you can reverse your other car in, like that, and you can shut the door up, yes. And then you can stick this in the back of the trailer, and your lorry can drive off with it, and yeah. I can still see why I'd want one of these as a kid, and I'm dead happy to have one now, because this is actually really nice. My original plan was to put it on eBay, because it probably would sell for a fair bit more than what I paid for it. Charity shops, amazing things. Um, but it is literally mint.
it is gloriously mint and really nice. Matchbox did make nice things and their Super Kings were a good line. I was never that interested in the Super Kings, to be fair, because I like the tanks and so forth, which I said they're up there on the shelf. I haven't got them ready. But I did own some Super Kings. I picked up a lot of dinky stuff as well. You know, I've got some other toys and boxes as well that I've had collected for ages, so I may well bring those out and talk about them on camera one day as well. But no, this is, as I said, a charity shop find, a Matchbox Porsche thing. I said, if you if you look at it, the, the cars are labelled as Formula One cars. Oh, we didn't try that, did we? We should try that. And it's all got different Matchbox advertising, but this is a Porsche one, so that's, that's nice. And I said, I wonder if my mate actually had this one, if he had... Uh, the Porsche one, or if he had the Matchbox advertising one, I don't actually know. So I think the idea is supposed to kind of drive the car up there and it doesn't fit and you kind of squeeze it in there and then you shut it and you take it and you run it down the hill and then your toys are all ruined and then your brother stands on them and kicks them and they're even more ruined and then you have those toys for the next 10 years and then in 20 years time you start talking about them on YouTube. Huh. Hello. Hello, Ali. Are you okay? Do you know what just happened? No, neither do I, and neither do the audience. Say hello. Hello. No? Fine.